All right, uh, let's talk about the grid lines, how you can toggle them on, toggle them off, uh, depending upon what you want to do inside Cricut Design Space. Uh, so here's the grid lines. You know, we can zoom in on there. Uh, we can see those grid lines expand. Now, you can do this several ways. Um, one way is to go through the settings menu. And so if I go ahead and click on this little menu bar here and go under the settings, uh, you will see that you have the canvas grid. You have a full grid where the grid is broken up into a normal grid, plus uh, you can see the grid lines in between the major grid lines. Uh, so that's full grid. You have a partial grid right here. As you can see, they have disappeared. And then, of course, you have no grid. Um, and then, of course, depending upon what unit of measurement you'd like to use, you have inches and centimeters. Now, let's take a look at how we can do this without uh, going through the settings menu. Up here in the top left corner, if you just click on it, you'll be able to toggle through the various grid lines. Okay. Uh, the other way is if we go through the keyboard shortcut, if you hold the question mark button down, just tap it, let go. Uh, this menu will pop up. And if you take a look over here, it says the toggle grid. For Mac users, you're looking at command and the apostrophe. And for window users, it's going to be control and apostrophe. So that does the exact same thing. It toggles through the various grids. So depending upon your or preference, if you're trying to clear up the area, you may want to go with no grid. Or if you're trying to line things up, you can go with a grid. But that's how you would do it uh, inside Cricut Design Space.